Hey everybody, it's the boss lady here. Coming to you real quick. Um, so today is uh, February 7th, National, it's the National African American Parent Involvement Day. I don't know if it's national, like national all over the world, but the school is saying national, so whatever. Anyway, um, at the high school, and they wanted parents to, you know, come, you come have breakfast, lunch with your kids, go to classes, do different things, blah, blah, blah. Then they had a performance at the end of the day. So, you know, me working at a school, I couldn't really, you know, take off and go all day. But I'm like, you know, I have missed, I can't even tell you how many parent involvement days within the last she's 10th grade maybe the last five years so I said I want to go today I checked I had you know some PTO time and you know so I just logged um logged off <laughs> like I'm a customer service but I requested you know the last hour 15 minutes of the day off and um, I went to the school so I didn't record everything they did have some dance numbers I I, I'm a little funny about that, so I didn't record any of the dance, and I did record um, a little bit of the drumming. Um, they did have a sound healing session, which I wish I would have recorded, but I didn't. Um, so I just kind of took a little video of the art that I saw. On, well, I was only on one side, so I couldn't get the other side because there was people over there. But I did a little bit of video of the art that was displayed, as well as, um, like I said, I videoed the... Um, the drum line because I, I like drums so you know anything to kind of give you a little beat you know make you tap your foot yeah that's all me um miss peanut sat with me you know so she sat in the parent and staff section the, oh my gosh so i but i want to say this before i show you those little bits and clips because just a bits and clip but you know miss peanut always complains about the kids the kids the kids you know and so for one while i was thinking is it the kids or is it miss peanut what is it right and so and i even told the staff i said you know miss peanut doesn't like the kids at school you know um and they're just like wow you know she's been a teenager she's an introvert da, da, da. no 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 i i understand so yeah, you know, she's got a little social anxiety, but yeah. So what they do was did was they sectioned the grades. So like they had seniors over here, juniors over here, freshmen here, sophomore here, and then parents and stuff in the middle. Those sophomores, O M G. I understand wholeheartedly why Miss Peanut does not like those students at the school. Seriously. I had earrings in. I lost one. So, it's nice. And it's my favorite, too. This one. My black queen. Anyway. So, yeah. You know, they think that she's overreacting. She is not. Like, when the principal was saying, okay, I want you guys to, you know, quiet down this and that. They were... Like the seniors and the juniors, they quieted down. Freshmen, quiet down. But them sophomores, child. I mean, it was a hot mess dot com. I was just like, oh my goodness. Like, really? Are you kidding me? <sighs> my God. It was something else. But anyway, um, it was nice to see some alumni. Because, I mean, you know. One thing about our school, um, alumni come back. And I mean, they come back, they give back. So like the sound healing that I didn't record, I feel so bad. But the sound healing, um, it was two alumni from the school. You know, I mean, when I say it's a whole community, a whole, you know, it's just, uh, I don't even know how to explain it to you all. But, um. And for the longest of times, I was just like, because mm. I had a bad experience when I was there, when when I was in school. But mine was mainly because I was a teen mom. I had staff that treated me like a second class citizen. Um, I'm in classes with, you know, regular kids who don't have kids. So, you know, it was just, it was a lot to deal with mentally as a teen parent. But overall, I still have pride for my school. 
and uh so yeah so i just gonna show you a little clip there's a picture i'm gonna post at the end now this picture is of a storyteller this woman i have known her she i have listened to her stories ever since i was in the eighth grade she's a part of the black storytellers alliance her name is natanda zulu she is an amazing do you hear me amazing storyteller i have had both my girls go and listen to her tell stories she used to tell stories um she would come to different schools but she also would um go to like the libraries in the inner city of course but you know whenever i could find out where she was or which i would go because she is such an amazing storyteller this woman is 78 years old years young still blessed on this side of the earth and so i had to take her picture because i'm just like you know that was part of i met her shortly before getting pregnant with miss P or with not miss Pina, lord baby girl i met her before i think either right before or right as i was pregnant but um so i've known this lady or known of her for 31 years at least and it's just a blessing that she is still telling stories and being about you know the work of our community so very happy about that um yeah, so that'd be that. Someone's parked in my spot. I was going to say a few choice words. But anyway, so you guys enjoy the video. And I'll see y'all in a new video. Bye.